Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a five minute, five minute, five, five minute makeup look. Um, This is for my moms who don't have time to be sitting behind a mirror doing their makeup. And this is also for the hardworking women who just don't want to go through all those extra steps to achieve a nice flawless face. So I'll be showing you how to achieve this look. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming to you with a five minute makeup look. And I have been getting a lot of requests for this look. So this look is going to be for my working moms. It's going to be for my young girls who just don't feel like taking those extra steps in makeup because I still you girl. It is a lot. We are going to go ahead and jump straight in. I'm actually leaving out for work, so this is legit going to be a five-minute makeup look. All right, so if you want to see the outcome of this look, make sure you continue watching. But before you do, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos. I did want this to be a talk through just so you can kind of see, um, see and also hear what you need to do. So for a look like this, you can honestly use the brow product of your choice. I am going in with a pomade. For a five minute look, you honestly don't need to go crazy with the brows. You just want to make sure that it's filled in um, enough to pretty much take away any sparseness or bald spots. And make sure you brush through your eyebrows really in general. You always want to brush the product to make sure that it's evenly applied onto your brows. And my brows are naturally like just jacked up right now. I definitely need them done, but thanks to the power of concealer, not even gonna be able to So for my concealer, I am going in with the concealer that I don't even have. God damn it! All right. So for concealer, um, being that I don't even have anything sitting around. I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place foundation. And this is gonna be like a one, two, three. That's it for brows, like legit, that's it for brows. You don't need to do no more, no less. Um, this is water and sweat resistant and it actually leaves like a little matte finish so that's why I like this um, sunscreen and that's honestly just going to be my base I do have on a moisturizer so you want to moisturize you want to have some type of barrier between your skin and the actual makeup now you can take any choice 
I'm really mad that I can't find my other And I'm gonna go in with my handy Zandy <laughs> LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the color Fawn. We're gonna let that sit for like five seconds. One more than five seconds because we're gonna go in with a little foundation and I'm gonna take my infallible up to 24 hour fresh wig and I'm literally gonna take two pumps onto my brush and this brush is by Real Technique it's their Instapop face brush Now while the concealer is still sitting and the reason why I have it sitting on my face is to pretty much warm it up on the skin. Once it warms up on the skin, it will be easier for it to actually move, if that makes sense. You don't, you're not going to have to blend out for as long. So I'm just taking my bronzer and I'm going in. On my eye. <laughs> and this is just to bring some colors to my face. That step is totally optional. But... So, it's been a few seconds. We did a few different things. So now we're just going to go ahead and take the concealer. And look at how I barely had to do anything. But for real, it's just a press, press, press. So now that we got that done, um, I would say definitely invest in a brow gel. Brow gel is no lie the best brow product in the whole entire world. It keeps your brows in place and it gives it a more like, it gives it a defined look. I just can't explain it. I'm in love with that product. And that's why it's in a So now I'm just, whoa. Okay, for mascara, I'm taking my Benefit Bad Gal Stains. And then the left, right wiggle motion. Oh, damn, I got some. In the left right wiggle motion, I'm just going to move that on up my lash. If you mess up with mascara, don't try to um, wipe it away as soon as it happens. Let it kind of dry, and then you're going to take your concealer brush, any type of brush, and move it around. So now I'm taking my black eyeliner. And I'm just, all right. And tight line your eye. Go oh, inside at the top. I only go right there. 
because eyeliner is already hard. I'm not trying to like irritate my eye. Alright, so now that our eyes are done, I will be taking my setting powder. And on this, I'm taking it on my brush, my dirty. I'm sorry, I'm taking it on my dirty beauty blender. Guys, please wash it as well. Don't be like me and have a dirty beauty blender. pushing in the powder I don't want to really bake I'm not trying to bake right now we have five minutes and a baking is a no-no a bacon trying to bake your face is a no-no so I'm taking my L'Oreal true match oh my god so I'm taking my L'Oreal true match super blendable powder and it's in the color Soft Stable. And just put that all over your face. That's going to set the rest of your face. I love blush, so I'm going in with my Juvia's Place brush this brown one. I'm actually going to mix it with a little pink. Everything I get you get a piece. Just to put some on your nose to give it a little cluster type of look in a good way. <laughs> So I'm taking my Morphe. So much on my mind. I need to unwind. So now just take your favorite gloss. And voila! You have your five minute makeup look. So guys, if this video helped, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you like, comment, and don't forget to, um, what's the word? Subscribe. <laughs> All right, friends, I'll see you in my next video.